Old man's like it. It's in the trash. All right, I'll take it. One man's beard is another man's treasure. Is what they say. Ah, it's a beautiful day in the Canadian wilderness. Uh, if you're a polar bear, that is. <laughs> Welcome back to the long dark. We're picking up where we left off here after the end of the last episode. We had spent the night in the camp office here on the mystery lake. Um, and uh, we're heading out now to go fish through the fishing camps. We got the fishing shacks here, ice fishing shacks, and also the cabins beyond. Uh, and it's super duper cold. <laughs> Three down arrows, but we just had some nice warm food before we left, at least at the end of the last episode. Uh, so that doesn't seem to be helping very much, but <laughs> let's run it out while we can. I don't see anything nasty out here. No wolvesies, no bears. So I think we should be okay. I like the lake because we can see far and wide if anything's coming. Um, at least when it's not foggy because the fog can uh, can cut your visibility down to just a few feet in front of your nose. All right, nobody there. Nothing in here hiding, waiting. Nope, we're looking good. All right, ooh, soda, take it. Start with the container and we'll work our way to is the left. Food or? Nuts and stuff. What is that, like a chipmunk on the front of that thing? I can't tell. Looks like a chipmunk of some kind. Uh, empty. And... Oh, crackers. Whole wheat. Ooh, I'll take them. Whole wheat. I guess that means they're not gluten-free. Not that I need gluten-free. I'm good. I'm all good. I can't imagine if you are like a vegetarian uh, <laughs> or you are um, lactose intolerant. How do you survive out here? I mean, you gotta eat everything. You can't be, can't be picky. I guess you just have to deal. I don't know. I don't have those those problems, so I'm not gonna worry about it. <laughs> all right, on to the next fishing hut. Pretty sure all this ice here is super duper solid, and we don't have to worry about falling through. New location discovered: fishing huts. Um, they're not really warm, very warm inside, unless we get the fires going, of course. And uh, I think they all have a stove inside. Get some reclaimed wood. That's nice. A little extra water. And ooh, practical I think gunsmithing. Do-it-yourself guide to gunsmithing. All right, grab it. We don't have time to read or even think about the stuff that we're finding right now. I'm just grabbing everything, and we need to get uh, indoors at one of the cabins. Um, all right. If I'm missing anything, of course, let me know. And I will come back. I'm gonna grab the charcoal. I keep forgetting that charcoal. All right. Um, turned around already. <laughs> Here we go. This way. Toward the cabins. Oh boy. Punchwood's getting cold already. Almost that halfway point. There's a couple more fishing huts, I think, on that side of the lake. Yeah, one and two. And then another cabin over there. Uh, oh, there might be cabins there too. I forget. I see a pier, so that must mean more cabins. Is. But we'll go left around the world, as we like to do. Looks relatively safe here, too. Nice and quiet so far on Mystery Lake. New location, Lake Cabins. Now, in the story mode, which I mean, story mode, there's a body around here. I don't know if that's still a thing. Um, yep, there, there goes our warming up. Um... All right, inside we go. All right, hopefully we get something good. Oh, I see, I see a simple parka. We already have a simple parka. Oh, by the way, thank you for the likes, the feedback, the comments, the tips and the tricks on the videos. Keep them coming. Seems like you guys are enjoying this, and I am enjoying making it. And we're going to keep on trucking. Now, someone did mention um, something that I, that I missed, and it, would, it looks like some kind of uh, clothing item on one of the cabins uh, on the bunk back at the camp office. So we'll go back and check that out. And by the way, I put the socks on. I don't know if we did that together. I don't remember. <laughs> but that was mentioned in the comments too. So we do have the two pairs of socks here. Got our worn wool and our sport socks. Cotton sport socks from Walmart. All right. And what else we got? We got stump removal there. A second ago, that's going to be useful for making, I think, um, Gunpowder, right. 
All right, excellent. Now let's take a look at that jacket because we have we have a windbreaker. Oh, this is much better. Look at that. At least it's warmer. All right, we got two parkas. Excellent. We'll keep the windbreaker, and we're still pretty light right now. So we can carry all this stuff. Let's check the T-Rex. have to look here. What? <laughs> I'm a professional, Punchwood. Give me a break. We look everywhere. You know that by now. My gosh, we've been friends forever. Like our whole life. So you should know me better. All right. Uh, oh, picture of a bear. That's cute. Don't want to meet him. Don't want to meet that dude. Uh, can we open? We can't open that up. Oh, that's just a drawer. Well, it was a suitcase. Hope nobody needs this. Oh, anymore. ragged, ragged. Is that cotton? Cotton's no good. No, we have wool. We have wool. Two wool toques already. So we'll bring it, so we can tear it down. We do have a lot of uh, cloths. So I'm not too worried about it, but even so, I'll bring it anyway. All right, one more quick look in the nooks and the crannies, looking for bulletses. Sometimes they hide in the corners. But I think we got everything. Don't really need the can. All right, let's head out. There's a few ruined cabins right here we can check out. And then we'll move on to the, uh, the other lakes on the shoreline. So out we go. All right. Oh, should have got my weapon out just in case. There was a wolfie out here waiting. Uh, what is this thing? Oh, it's wood. Love it. Cedar firewood. We, we definitely need to get an, a hatchet. Now, we already know there's a couple of things that we need to go and um, and get that we had missed. Such as the hatchet and the rifle. And we'll go back for those things eventually. But kind of want to just make sure we get everything around this lake first. And then we'll head, uh, we'll head back. I, I don't really want to backtrack until we get some more stuff done over here. New stuff, you know what I mean? Oh, this one we can go inside. Okay. Wait a minute. Maybe we can go inside all of these. Oh, none of these are ruined. Oh, perfect. Okay, I'm going in. Let's go. Perfect. Drop the stone. Okay, left uh, right around the world this time. <laughs> we like to change it up. We get a little bored going left around the world. So right around the world. All the way around. And a little backpack here. Uh, this stuff will come in handy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's put those on right now. Or at least check to see what kind of condition they're in and how they compare to the um, cotton. Yeah, even though their condition's down to 31%, they're still a tiny bit warmer and better against the wetness. So let's put those on. And we'll hang on to the sporty socks so we can tear them down later. Oh, oh, oh. We got a book here. We don't really need another book. We got plenty of books to burn. Back at the camp. And I do love this location. Kind of centralized. Where are we? Oh, boy. Okay, we're going to have to do a survey. <laughs> Maybe when we get back to the camp, we'll do a survey. We have plenty of charcoal. And we'll get the camp office on the map. Because I can't show you that we are at a centralized location. It's nice to have the lake here. Um, so we can do some fishing if necessary. If things get bad, we need to do some fishing. But for the time being, we have found plenty of food to last at least a few days and it's also central in this map region so that we can strike out from the camp office and um, get to pretty much any location in a single day or a short period of time all right I think we are done here it's a small little cabin we got everything again if I'm missing anything which is of course always a good chance let me know I'm obviously leaving some of this stuff, like the paper. Uh, all right, out we go. Oh, drat. I, I left without the rock in my hand, and sure enough, there's a wolfie right there, but at least he's far enough that uh, he can't see us. But you got to remind me to get my weapon up, just in case we need to throw it quick. Now, there was a wolf right there, but I want to go around, because sometimes you find tools and things on the outside. And that is where I missed the hatchet, which we need to go back because it was literally just leaning up against one of the trailers. <laughs> I don't know how I missed it. It's funny because I find a lot of the stuff in the nooks and the crannies, right? Some of the hard to find items. And I typically, well, not typically, but I do occasionally miss some of the more obvious things just in plain sight, <laughs> like the rifle and the hatchet. Not important tools, that's all. 
Just a rifle and a hatchet. Nothing great, right? All right, here we go. Right, nothing too important. All right. Woo hoo hoo! I see some mittens, but we already have mittens. What's this? Candy bar on the on the seat cushion. Okay, <laughs> I'll take it. Kind of gross, but whatever. Uh, that's just a Bernie book. Don't really need any more Bernie books, do we? Um, they're so heavy. Maybe I'll grab one or two. I could use this. Have. Uh, I mean they're good for breaking down into leather. So I guess I will bring them. Oh, it's just a broom. Nothing in the tea rash. We've got a nice big trunk with a sport vest. We already have one of those, don't we? Or was that our first playthrough? Um, is that an exterior? Oh, it's an, it's an outer layer. Yeah, we definitely don't want that. I mean, we want it. We'll bring it. We can break it down for the materials, but it's not really very good against the cold uh radio another book all right yeah how are we doing on weight here Let's grab one more book they're about a pound a piece but they they're useful for burning for starting fires uh what is that tomato soup excellent love me some tomato soup on a cold day all right i think we've got everything here Oh, jeez. Medicine shelf. Ah, empty anyway. <laughs> All right. Now I think we've got everything. All right. Am I missing anything? Okay, out we go. Oh, stone. <laughs> Did it again. Maybe we'll just keep the stone up instead of putting it away every time we go indoors. Just feels weird holding a stone inside, you know? All right, there's nothing on the pier. Can we just drop off that? Sure. Oh, I told you, the fog. It is super thick, and it's easy to get lost out here. We've turned around on this lake. We've got one more fishing hut here, and then a cabin over to the right. And it looks like a cabin straight ahead, too. All right, well, let's do the cabin first. Kind of want to swing a while, a while wide. I would like to swing a while wide. In case there's a wabbit or a wolf. <laughs> that wolf was over here, sniffing around the ruined cabin. Yeah, okay, here's the two ruined cabins I was thinking of. Oh, yep, I hear a howl. I hear a howling. Uh, I'm just going to squat even though it's so slow. Just don't want to get spotted out here. There we go crows some kind of body over here probably i mean it could be a animal carcass or it might be a corpse human corpse is that it right there uh, i don't know but there is a wolf over there it's that little tree over there is that something we can chop down birch maybe we can make uh, a bow with the birch, right? Or arrows or something? I forget. Yeah, that wolf is, is over there. He's not too close. I think we can move a little faster. Yeah, there he is. I don't know what their detection range is in stalker mode, but... Oh, we got a note! All right, let's pick it up and bring it inside and read it. Uh, oh, he's right there. Okay, here we go. Rock out! <laughs> Rock out. Not that kind of rock out. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, let's read that note before I forget. Let's see. Where's the notes? Surveyed location. Mementos. Oh, notes. Got two notes. Select. Scrawled. Not sure which one it is. I guess this one. Beansy. Oh, that's Beansy. We've already read that one. Oh, here we go. A note left behind. There's nothing left. The matches got wet and I'm down to a couple of tins of peaches and a can of pop. I don't know what to do. I want to go, but where do I go? Those wolves. Those wolves. Everywhere, scratching at the door, pawing at the windows, waiting, waiting. A dull knife, a rock, a length of rope. It's like one of those jokes you hear about when three guys walk into a bar and the bartender says, Hey, you can't bring rope in here. Something about afraid not. Something like that. <laughs> what? I've never heard that joke. It's not funny. That's for sure. 
music. Yeah. Okay. We're being we're being watched. All right. Let's get all the loots. And let's get the heck out of here. Mm-hmm. Paper. Shelf. Can't break it down. T rash. Old man's like it. It's in the trash. All right, I'll take it. One man's beard is another man's treasure. Is what they say. <laughs> I don't know who they are, but they were wise. Uh, let's just scour the floor. Spray paint over there. I'm getting ahead of myself. We're going right around the world. Um, empty container. Man, that's so disappointing. Hi. Hang in there. Oh, what is this? Granola. All right, well, we're getting snacks. That's not terrible. But I'd rather get useful gear. How's the time? Time still looks pretty decent. Oh, dang it. There's the, uh, the gun rack, and there's just no gun there. Okay. I think we got everything here. Yeah, these, these, these things, these cabins don't really have a lot of useful stuff. Um, unless we had a hatchet, we could break all this material down for some wood, but um, we don't have a hatchet. All right, out we go. Ah, did it again <laughs> with the rock. Ooh, someone's been here. Yeah, never mind. That's just us. Ow. Watch out. Watch out, Watch out for the stalactites. All right, I'm going to I'm gonna sneak over here. We're pretty warm right now, so we don't, there's no rush. There's only one down arrow. I'm kind of curious about the corpse. Oh, it's right there. Okay, it's closer than I thought. Oh, boy. Alright, where's that wolf going? Is he coming in this direction? Hard to tell. I think he's getting closer. Let's see if we can put this hill between us so he doesn't have line of sight. Oh, it's, it's a dude. It's a human corpse. Oh boy, he's frozen and missing some body parts. I bet that wolf got him. Maybe this is the guy that left the note. Nothing. Is that a knife? <gasps> Is it, it's a feather. <laughs> okay. Not the same thing. Sadly. Well, I can use the feather to poke things in the eye, right? They're kind of sharp. Pointy. Um, alright. There's nothing here. I need to jump down. I kind of want to go over this ruined cabin, but I am a tiny bit worried about that wolf there. Alright, we'll sneak over. Check the tables. Sometimes you find tools on these, right? I don't see anything. Now this we cannot go into, but maybe we can poke our head inside. Just turn the corner here. See what old Wolfie's up to. Seems like he's gone. Head in the other direction, maybe. Alright. Uh... Don't see anything here. Let's move on. Follow those footsteps. Right back where they came from. Right over here. It's in these piles of snow, I wonder. Just snow drifts or are they bodies buried? Oh. oh, we already went around this one, didn't we? Somebody has. Somebody's been here. <laughs> okay, we're good. Let's keep moving. Keep on trucking. We will go... Let's see. Can we cut through... Well, let's get to this fishing hut first. And then we'll skirt around the shoreline and pop right back out again. That's the plan. We just have to execute the plan. Alright, here we go. This one actually has a door. Oh, nice. Close it. Ooh. There's always a bit of reclaimed in these things, huh? And a soda. Uh, oh, revolver ammunition. Where's where's the gun at? No gun. Uh-oh. Ooh. Oh. That wolf sounds close, doesn't he? Let's drink a soda right now. Ah, I might as well eat something while we're here. We'll have... Um, uh, let's see one of these can uh, ketchup chips. I hear they're delicious. I'm gonna get some. 
don't sound that bad, honestly. What have we oh, here? Oh, rifle cartridge. I mean, I like ketchup and I like chips. So why not put them together? See what happens. And the cupboard. Empty. Oh, grab the charcoal. All right, how we doing on the weight? Still got about a six or seven pound clearance. But don't call me Clarence. Please. All right. Close the door. Don't let the flies out. Um, okay, we just came from there. Did hear some wolves, though. Or was that my imagination? Pretty sure I heard them. All right, now this cabin right here, I'm not sure if we can go in it. Looks like... Looks like maybe. Looks like a yes. Doesn't look ruined. And then we'll hit that fishing hut and then return. We're right along the coastline in that giant boulder there. You'd be surprised how easy it is to get lost even on this lake <laughs> when the fog is <laughs> all over in, in your face. Let's just walk on the outside first. Oh, another note. Scrawled message. Oh, look at this. It did something. It updated the map. Where's that? Memento Cache. We shall go check out the Memento Cache. Oh, see? So I walk around the buildings. This will come in Oh, it's beautiful. If I could wear three Canadian toques, I would. Sadly, um, the law only allows for two. All right, here we go. What do we got? I'm keeping my rock up, by the way, this time. <laughs> Okay, we got uh, wool, oh, wool, wool mittens. Ooh, those are great. They're better than the fleece. Check them out. No, 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 no. Keep going. Are they? Well, they're not in very good condition, but once we sew them up a little bit, they'll be better than the fleece. Yes, they shall. All right. Oh, no, no. Put them back on. We'll keep the fleece on for now, but the wool will be better. They're better in the rain for sure. Um, books. We don't need the books. Check the tea rash. One of these days, we're going to find something amazing in the trash, I'm telling you. Could end up being useful. I bet. One of the trunk. Come on, baby. Nothing! Dang nabbit. Alright. Don't get ahead of yourself there, Punchwood. Looking over. Empty. Nothing underneath. Nope. Okay, more papers, more shelving, more cups, more crates, more blinds, more pots, more benches, and more cloth that we don't need. All right, how's the weight? 60. Grab another book. Grab that book right there with the old hatchet. And I think, um, I got another book. We do have the, we've got the, we've got the capacity. So I think we'll grab the extra book. Um, okay, out we go. Nothing else to do here. Rock up. Not to be confused with rock on. That's different. That's for like when you go into a concert. Or you're talking about music and bands, right? <laughs> but around these parts, we like to say rock up. Because you never know what's waiting outside for you. When you step out into the wilderness. The Canadian wilderness. Oh, we have more birds. Carrying birds up there. Could be another human corpse or an animal carcass. We will go check it out. Guess we can run a little bit here. All right, I think I see something in there. Blue. Oh, it's a blue flare. Excellent. Super bright. And the angler book. Right. Awesome. We just need to... Now! <laughs> What'd you do, Will? Pick that rock back up. We need it. Rock up. Grab the charcoal. That's what I was trying to do. I wonder who owns this stuff. Punchwood got the wrong message. Did I just call you Will Punchwood? I'm sorry. It's going to happen a lot. <laughs> From the old days when we played Winter Mute Story Mode. Uh, worn fleece mittens. I'm not taking those. Ain't taking those. 100% frozen. Did, did we get a... um? Did we get a hook? I think we got a line, right? A fishing line? At the camp office, if I recall correctly. So we can do some fishing, but we need to break through that ice. And guess what we need for that? 
<laughs> yep. A hatchet. Uh, oh boy. Frozen fella. Face down, thankfully. Nothing. Nothing. You cheapo. What's wrong with you? I'm trying to survive here. You know help. All right. Let's grab a cattail. Relatively useful. Uh... All right, I'm just looking for, like, loose loose wood. Probably not going to find it out here. Again, we're going to need that hatchet so we can chop down some of the, um, some of the deadfall. Uh, we never did read that note, did we? We'll, we'll do that when we get back to the camp office. We'll sit down and have a look at all the stuff that we got. It's like Halloween. Right out here, trick-or-treating at all the cabins. <laughs> we'll dump it all out, all the candy. On the floor of the camp office. And we'll, uh, we'll eat some of it. And we'll save the rest for another day. That's how we do it. Alright. I'm going to do the wide berthy thing. Just in case there's something right around the corner. It's all corners and doors, my friends. Corners and doors. Rock up. Nothing. Nothing. False alarm. Um, see, that deadfall right there could be all chopped up for some wood. There's our river that leads back toward the... Wow, what's up? Oh, sleepy man. Jeez, it seems like we just woke up. Oh, we're heavy too. Uh, yeah, anyway, that goes toward the um, Carter Hydro Dam. We're going to have to go back there for that rifle eventually. Oh, boy. Wolves in that direction. It's okay because we're not going there. Not right now, anyway. Hopefully, we find some more coffee soon because Punchwood here gets awfully sleepy in the middle of the day. He needs a boost of energy. I think we. Uh, Do we drink all of our coffee? I'm not sure. And I don't know if there's anything natural that we can cook up. Uh, that has the same effect. Maybe maybe birch bark? I'm not really sure. If you know the answer, put it down in the comments. It is, of course, very much appreciated. Alright. Home. Sweet home. Did we walk around the camp office? I don't recall. Just out of curiosity. Nothing. Got some rosy hips here. Um, might as well grab them. Make a rose tea. No, 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 no. Stop, stop. Just grab the hips. There we go. And we'll just sneak in the back door. It's not locked. Come on in. All right. Rock down, PW. <laughs> I'm going to start calling you PW. I like that. Pudgewood. Uh, okay. So... Let's, um, well, while we still have daylight, I guess it's probably a good idea to get organized yet again. I don't know why I'm looking around like we haven't been here before. <laughs> yes, we have. Oh, look at that. Christmas lights. Let me turn those on. I wonder if those come on when the Aurora pops up. That would be pretty cool. Um, wow, look at all the stuff we have. Last night I couldn't see it because it was so dark. I was just dropping stuff everywhere. But now we can see it in the daylight. And we got quite a bit of stuff. And I am going to have to organize it, however. Because I don't like it like this all over the joint. Um, let's open up this. And I'm going to transfer in some of the clothes. That we are not using at the moment. And we'll break this stuff down when we get an opportunity. Like the old toque. Okay, that is everything. And we're going to hold on to the wool mittens for now. Because we want to repair those later. Uh, oh, by the way, there's something. Oh, there is something there. It's a military coat. I hope nobody needs this anymore. Holy smokes. Look at that. Winter version of the traditional coat used by the military. <gasps> Ooh. Tough as heck. Take it. Ooh, still got that sprain risk problem. <laughs> um, that looks pretty nice. Let's compare it. Wow, that park is brand new, isn't it? It is literally brand new. 100% unused. Let's check this out against the other parka. It's actually not quite as warm, but that's because of the condition. Yeah, when we repair this, it's going to be better than the parka. And I don't want to wear two of the same coats. That's just weird. So we will fix that up. 
But for now, we will just keep that parka on. Again, I don't know how I missed that. Broad, uh, br it's in broad view. Right. Now, um, let's drop some things, like the wood right here. We don't need it. Just poop that out on the floor, and all this wood, too. We'll get another fire going shortly. And cook up some tea and that kind of thing. So it's just way too early to go to sleep. Um, so maybe we'll use the daylight for reading. Oh, we wanted to go out and survey. Yes, let's go do a survey. Take a look at that. That shouldn't take too long. Uh, charcoal up. <laughs> okay, let's do it. You just That's it. You just click it. Surveying local area. Beautiful camp office. Look at that. Oh, it even shows you the stuff around, like that cedar limb right there. Oh, well, that's cool. So, yeah, see, very central. There's our memento cache. In fact, let's go back inside. And let's read that note. I can't stomach the things, but plenty of MREs down there in the dam. The broken window room. Eh? The broken window room. Okay. Well, we've been to the dam. We did not get any MREs. Maybe this is not in the dam, but somewhere near the dam. Um, maybe it's down by the actual dam and not in the building itself. Well, we have the map location, so we will hunt that down when we go back to the Carter Hydro Dam, which I think we will make that trip very soon, maybe in the next episode. I don't know if we're going to do that today. I need to check the time on this episode. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll probably do a full circle. We'll go to the Carter Hydro Dam, grab the gun, and then head back to the camp office from there, grab the hatchet, and then possibly either spend the night there or stop at the forestry tower or just maybe come back here it depends on the weather the time and pretty much everything so <laughs> we won't know until we begin that journey all right now let's do some stuff we could do some reading and maybe some repair work we don't need the stump remover right now or the leather oh actually no we're going to need that if we're going to be doing some repair work we'll pick that back up I think we're going to do a little repair work and some reading. Um, you know what? I'm going to put some of the food in the cupboard. That seems to make sense, right? We don't need to carry all this around like the banged up peaches. Tins of sardines. We got the soup. We have one serving left of coffee. We should probably do that right now. Uh, water. We're going to be needing some water pretty soon, too. Uh, well, we can boil it right here. In the camp office, that's pretty easy to do. Actually, let's drink. Getting thirsty. Man, PW, you eat and drink like a horse and a camel combined. <laughs> uh, let's have something to eat. You just eat the cat stalks, I guess. Eh, how about that lousy granola bar? Ooh, ew, 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 ew. That was that was salty. And another soda. Just got to keep eating and drinking. All right. Now, we're going to do a little reading. Um, let's let's move up. No, that's not. Oh, oh, that's food. Oh, pick that up. Yeah, pick that up. Pick it up. I don't want food here in the ground. I want to put it in the cabinet. Oh, right. I forgot we had that maple syrup. All this stuff down here. Holy cow. All right. Let me put that in here. All right. And I wanted to pick up the book. Uh, right click and we'll put the books up here. Lay them out on this um, dresser. We can look at what we got and we can read them a little bit at a time. Very cool. I love this part. So apparently with the new update, we can, um, we can do some more base building or something in the bases. I'm not exactly sure. I need to look into that. Oh, there's that crunchy stuff. Um, so if you if you know the answer to that, what we can do in the bases, I think it's like maybe uh, decorative or something. I, honestly, I don't really know. It's something I need to look into. But I did happen to see that on the on the uh, on the notes in the change log notes. Something with the bases. Uh, just put that there. What is all that? Um, antiseptic. I'm going to put down below in the medicine cabinet. So we're going to kind of get organized here. The fire 
firearms cleaning kits can go over here. I love the organizing. This is for starting fires. Uh, cans, flares. Oh, just chill, buddy. I know. I know you're bored. I know this isn't super exciting, but it has to be done. Very important work. Hold on a sec. We got another book here. I got to poop it out and then put it on the dresser. And we're going to figure out what we want to read. Is that all the books we have? Nope. We got one more here. Frozen Angler. All right. Put that there. All right. Welcome to the camp office library. What would you like to take out today? You do have your library card on you, right, Punchwood? Eh. Eh, forget it. <laughs> we'll let it slide this time. We've got the Frozen Angler, Practical Gunsmithing, Frontier Shooting Guide, Wilderness Kitchen, and Guns, Guns, Guns. And wait a second, we're missing one. Oh, right here, this is the one I wanted. <laughs> Poop that thing out. Yeah, that's the one. It's late, you just returned it late. It's gonna cost you. Uh, yeah, take that one. Research it. Research it for one hour. Fire starting. Oh, yeah. Just keep an eye on that eye. Keep an eye on that eye. Ooh, heavy again. Jeez. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> uh, it's in the inventory. That's right here in our inventory. That's fine. Um, yeah, I'm going to probably read a little bit more, but I, we might have to take a quick nap. I think we might have to do that. Let me just um, I think we'll put the medicines down here in the medicine cabinet. Got lots of extra meds that we don't need. I mean, they're not super heavy. But we don't need to carry them all around. And the bandages. All right. Antibiotics. Uh, that looks good. Water putrefaction tablets. Anything else to stick in here? Um, let's throw the rose hips in here, too. Just put them all in there. We don't need to carry those around. Maybe the old man's beard. All right. That's good for now. By the way, if you have any suggestions on organizing, let me know down in the comments. What do you usually do in this situation? I'm very interested. Oh, we could put the books in the bookshelf. That might make, make more sense, but I like the way that's all laid out. I don't know. Something to think about. All right. I think what we're going to do here, my friends, is uh, call it quits. I'm going to... need to find a place to rest. I know. Hold on. We're talking. Um... <laughs> I'm going to um, maybe do some repair work and a little bit more reading. I'll do that off camera while we have lights. Might have to take a nap, so nothing too exciting. And then, oops, wrong thing. Right there, yeah. Okay, so the sun is going down. And then tomorrow, in the next episode, we'll uh, maybe we'll head back to grab the things that we missed because we are going to need it. We really do need a hatchet. It's a key item. So, yeah, let me save it quick here. So, yeah, I think that makes sense. So with that, my friends, we're going to call it quits. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And we'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.